Welcome back, it's Capital Gold Hunter. Today we're gonna make a video on how to build a device that's gonna help us see through the water line of a creek or a stream bed through the rapids and the ripples. So yesterday I was out there on the creek using my hand dredges and that was the number one issue. I could never clearly see the creek bed of the area that I was working at to see if there are rocks in the way or if there was a crack that I was missing. So if you're like me, you got tons of buckets laying around because you're a gold miner or a gold painter or a prospector. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna use this to make like a looking glass so I can see through the water line of a creek bed. So I have a bucket and I have some extra plexiglass from a project I worked earlier. And my whole thought process is, is to cut this out, cut out a circle in my plexiglass and then silicone it to the bottom of the bucket. It won't be overly cumbersome because I usually take about three or four buckets with me anyway down to the creek bed. So this will just go right inside of those buckets. Now you could use probably like a kitchen bowl that's glass and get the same effect, but I like to make things and I have extra pieces laying around so it's not gonna cost me a, a single dollar to make this. So if it will potentially uh, help me find better areas to find gold, I'm gonna try it and see if it works. And if it does work, maybe you guys wanna do the same thing too. So let's get building. Okay, so I got my bucket. I'm gonna use a half inch drill bit to drill a hole through this. Now, I just went and drilled through a different bucket and I made a mistake, so I'm gonna correct it now. When you're drilling through this, make your pilot hole about a half inch away from the edge of the bucket. So now I'm gonna use your jigsaw Keep it about a half inch, three quarters of an inch away from the side of the bucket. This will allow the plexiglass, you can cut a little bit smaller than the actual diameter of the bucket. It will make it a lot easier to silicone that piece of plexiglass to the bottom lip of this bucket. So let's go ahead and cut this. There's just a small lip on the bottom of the bucket, so our plexiglass will go from the inside and glue down, or from the bottom and glue down, whichever one works the best. Okay, so we'll file this down real quick, and then we'll start getting that plexiglass cut. Okay, now take your plexiglass and put it underneath the bucket. I'm gonna go to the edge so I don't waste as much plexiglass for a future project. Take your Sharpie marker and just trace along the bottom edge here. Like so. Okay. So now when you're gonna cut this out, since I just made it the outside diameter of this bucket, if you just cut it like a eighth of an inch uh, smaller the whole way around, it's gonna fit on the inside of the bucket. So let's give it a shot and see if it works. Okay, so now we're gonna cut the circle out of the plexiglass. It might bounce up a little bit. I don't have it secured very well. Let's give it a shot. Okay, I got her cut out. Now I'll take this protective coating off of here and then we'll silicone it to the bottom of the bucket. Okay, so now I got my bucket and I got my plexiglass with the stuff off it. So I'm gonna take just any silicone. This just happens just to be clear, advanced silicone, 30 minute dry time. I'm gonna put a nice bead across the whole lip that I cut out right here. Now this needs to be waterproof for it to work correctly. You can't put too much of this on there. The more the better. Stuff is hard to come out. I 
Okay, so once that's done, put the cap back on. All right, now gently take your plexiglass, just put it right in there and squish down. You should see it make a complete seal on the bottom of that bucket. Okay, so now we're gonna let that dry for about 30 minutes and then take it down to the creek and see if she works. Okay, the bucket's dry. It's been about an hour. Let's put it in the water and see if it works. Okay, so here's some of the rapids I was dealing with yesterday. It's kind of hard to see the bottom. Let's put the bucket in and see if we can see it more clearly. You might see a reflection. There it is. got back from the creek. On the way up, I was trying to think of a name to call this. I'm gonna call it the Gold Underwater Viewer because in the future, I hope it finds me gold and it's an underwater viewer. As you guys saw in the video, it did work really, really good. I was able to see through the rapids and the ripples of the creek right down to the creek bed floor. So I'll use this on my future expeditions out there, gold prospecting with my hand dredge to try and find that more perfect spot where I think the gold might be underneath the water on that creek bed. So thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like the channel, subscribe if you want, and then leave me a comment. I check those often, so you guys can ask me any question you guys might have, or give me future ideas for other episodes. But until then, thanks for watching.